Hi, my name is Krishan, and I welcome you to my channel, A Lifetime Gift. Did you know that God has a plan for your life? It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We are reminded of this very thing in the book, I Know the Plans, that God has given each one of us a special plan to fulfill while we're here on earth. God also says in Psalm 37, 23, that he directs the steps of the godly and that he delights in every detail of their lives. So let's jump into this book so that we can all be reminded that God has a plan for our lives. I Know the Plans by Jennifer Bosma and illustrated by Beth Snyder. Welcome to this world, sweet child of mine. I have many plans for you to shine. Each day you will learn and grow with me so that you may live more joyfully. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. Let us take a look at your time here on earth because you, my child, have a life of great worth. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, 16. Your mommy and daddy, I have picked for you. So listen to them for their wisdom is true. Always respect them in what they say. And this will lead you to sunny days. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Ephesians 6. One. Your family gives you so much love, which makes me smile from up above. They guide you in life to get you through and teach you to keep me close in view. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. 1 Peter 3.8, New International Version. Some friends will come and some will go. From all of them, you'll learn to grow. Choose them wisely, hold them tight. Always radiate my light. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. Proverbs 27, 17. What you do and who you will be. Look at your talents, you will see. Trust me to lead you, if I may and seek me daily as you pray. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at works within us. Ephesians 3, 20. I have big plans, there is no doubt. Stay close to me, you will find out. In every moment, I am here. Just look to me to make it clear. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11, New International Version. My world is big, a great place to explore. Meet different people and swim on new shores. See my creation and all that is there. This earth of mine is for you all to share. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, 6, New International Version. You are made so that I can live in your heart. Inviting me there is a great way to start. Nothing can fill you the way that I do, so never forget I make all things new. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Be strong and courageous. Year after year, your blessings will show you that I am near. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Luke 2, 52. 
Remember the words that are set in place. Continue the journey. Finish the race. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Second Timothy, four seven. Now live a good life. Be strong and be kind. Do not let the world take over your mind. I will be with you day after day. So look to me to show you the way. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans twelve two. I hope through the story and through the scriptures that were used throughout the story, we're able to help you be reminded that God has a plan for your life. I know sometimes we may feel like we are unsure of what God's plans are for our lives. But luckily, in the two verses after Jeremiah 29, 11, we're actually given something we can use to help us figure out what God's plans are for our lives. It says in Jeremiah 29, 12 and 13, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. The way you're able to find out the plans that God has for your life is by first getting to know who God is. Once you do that, then you're able to figure out who you are and what it is that God has for your life. Seeking God, spending time with God, talking to God, reading his word, praying to God are so important when it comes to developing a relationship with him. And that's what you need when trying to figure out what the plans are for your life. So I'm hoping through the story and what I'm sharing that you never forget that God has a plan for your life, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, a plan to give you hope and a future. If you would like to hear more stories like this, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Wow.